new document and then set the, the size to, to be 2000 by 2000 resolution 300 and then just write the name science or maybe the god of wonders the god of wonders church flyer all right so 2024 and then yes everything is okay it's going to be for social media handles so click on create and then you have this nice interface with me right now so what you're going to do is okay we are still going to maintain this white background but what the next the first thing is that maybe so yes yeah, so we are going to work with the background drag this to the background and then wait for it to load yes always wait for it to load please wait for it to load so fast it's loading our edge subscribe to this channel and share and let me know your comment in the comment section below and then let me know again how this channel has helped you and again if you have any questions feel free to ask them and let's learn together so hold the edge and then scale it up like this then push it up let's push it up let's push it up this is the kind of feel you you want so awesome that's nice that's nice that's nice so go to filter and then gaussian blur and blur it to be let's say it's too much and i think this is not bad at all okay so this is awesome and then i think we have to reduce here to maybe uh, 60 and see all right something like this is awesome something like this is awesome something like this is awesome so next we are going to pick our rectangle tools and then draw this nice rectangle like this and then go here right click and then go to this side yeah go to this side we saved our gradient no 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 not this one not this one not this one not this one Okay, but first of all, let's finish working with the background. Yes, let's finish working with the background. So let's go and then drag this inside Photoshop and then wait for it to load. All right, now it's downloading. So click here and then check it and then scale here. Awesome. Right click and then rasterize it. And then let's con uh, shift plus U. No, control plus U rather. We turn it to black and white. Or uh, maybe let's 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 go to this side. Select Control Alt Shift and then U. Okay, so that is it. That is it. We get it like this. And maybe the next background is gonna be this. Drag it here and then push it to the side push it to the side we just want that lightning to be inside spreading from that angle to that side so let's check our blending option and choose something better something better something better something better and i think maybe we'll come back and choose this yeah we'll come back and choose this all right so add layer max and clear the edges add layer max and clear the edges like that nicely now the next background again we added a couple of backgrounds okay so the next background is this you drag it and release it like this awesome 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 then let's increase the size nicely like that and then let's check our blending option some of the blending option which one will fit it guys always not all the blending option will fit what you want so just test them and if you get what you want then you get it like that if you don't get what you want just clear it and then do it as usual so i'm just testing the blending option and see and i think maybe i'll go for this something like this it's not bad at all and then the next background again we still work with more background okay so that background is also dragged inside and then maybe let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see if we need to hide some things i think 
this is okay let's see this let's see this let's see this and let's see i think we need to hide that one we need to hide that one or uh, better still it should be inside it should be inside it's adding some feel to it so this and that control gene to put it in a group and then background all right all right so our background is set nicely now we drag we pick sorry we pick the rectangle to go and draw that nice rectangle you saw over there and then we are going to copy the gradient uh, colors okay so we copy the gradient colors you double click here no 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 not double click at all right click and then paste layer star awesome 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 and then hold this side and tilt it this way or better store sorry we need to do the right thing we need to do the right thing ctrl t to select it and then go to this side this start and then push here down push here down something like 20 let's see 25 and this is awesome 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 ctrl j to duplicate it and then flip it this way awesome 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 and i think that is it 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 so let's bring our guide sorry view guide and then new guide layout now we test if everything is at the center good and i think that is awesome 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 now another one this control j to duplicate it and then the beneath one beneath one this one go and double click in the gradient overlay and then we are going to change the gradient guys you are going to change the gradient to this side and then we push it down a bit so this side to double click it control g sorry and then we just double click here to open the gradient and then we are going to pick the same side and then reverse it all right all right all right and that, that one too we need to push it down guys we need to push it down so meaning this two has to come down a bit yes this have to come down a bit and that is how we're able to come up with all these shapes this and that control g and then we call it shapes all right then we are going to import the image i'm going to import the image and i'm sure this is the image so drag it into photoshop and then wait for it to load guys always wait for it to load no 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 not this one not this one not this one not this one and i'm sure this is gonna be the image yes that is it that is it that is it that is it so scale it up and then push it down this is pasta mensa otabel pasta mensa otabel one of the renowned pastas in ghana so maybe this can be the image so image and that is it now let's work with the theme so pick this te te text tool or the type tool and then type god and then come and pick this side and then the font we use with akira expanded good now drag it this way all right all right all right all right then we double click this side and then type one this good 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 now scale it to this side and let's close up here a bit let's close up here let's close up let's close up let's close up and i think 100 will be better 100 will be better 100 will be better 100 will be better so push this here let's scale it up a bit like this because we need to do it exactly what you saw and then come and pick your rectangle to again draw a rectangle down here and then pick color blue yes pick color blue from that side 
and then let's get here and change here to something like 10 and let's see or uh, maybe 50 and let's see okay 50 is awesome and then t on the keyboard again and then type off all right 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 so we'll scale it up a bit like this awesome and then go here center and align the text and that small shape over there control d to deselect it and then come to this side change the color to white awesome 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 and 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 he left it there sorry 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 drag the side here and then type the and we change the font from that side to something like Nexa. Nexa, 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 Nexa. And let's make here 20. It should be very small. It should be very, very small. I think that even that side is too big. So let's change it to 10 or something like that. Okay. Then it's okay and then change the color to that of the blue you need to change here to heavy okay 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 and then push it here good awesome 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 that is exactly what you want that is exactly what you want that is exactly what we are looking for that is exactly what you are looking for so this side double click this side and then let's go and choose a gradient overlay for it and I think it, this is already popping. So let's work on it. Let's work on it. So push it to this side. Uh, let's see zero and see. And I think it's it, it's popping. It's popping. It's popping. So I think we should maintain this one. We should maintain this one. And then this, we double click it here. And uh, let's check another gradient overlay and maybe we can reverse this side to here something like this and i think this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome we have just changed the design we have just changed everything but if you want the previous one you can use this blue to work on it and that is that will be also awesome for you if you want to use that side so still put the backgrounds in a group and then this and this control J and then call it T. All right, control T to select it and then move here. And then let's scale. Skew rather, skew, 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 skew rather. Then push it down a bit like this. And check it. Awesome, 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 awesome. This is awesome, this is awesome, this is awesome. So we are now we are done with working with the team. So now the next thing is maybe write the names. They go here, hit here, and then um pasta. So the name is pasta mensa. Otabel. Otabel. Okay. So we break them down. This go here. This go here. And that is it. We close this side to something like 10. And see. Awesome. 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 Change here to white. And then with the fonts, let's go and use something like this. And that. Change it to caps. And that is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. Come here. Drag it to this side. And then write this. This and. Uh, every. Sunday. All right. All right this and every sunday then maybe the time will come to the side i put the time here maybe seven 
o'clock a.m. to let's say 11 30 a.m. and then sharp awesome awesome so with the sharp I think I use a different color now let's use the blue because we have changed that side yeah and even with the blue it's not showing so let's clear this side a bit let's clear this side to a bit all right all right all right all right all right good 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 i think it's awesome now it's awesome now it's awesome now it's awesome now and then this side too i think we need to change the color yeah and this is awesome this awesome this awesome this awesome this awesome this awesome okay 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 so this becomes your text control j become your text all right so the test is made up of the name dates and then the time okay here okay this and every sunday so it means it can be equally be the date so that is it and then we are going to bring the logo so if you have the logo just import them there let me push this down a bit push this down a bit and i think um let's see let's see let's see let's see if if we don't have anything again let's see okay so the logo has been imported successfully which is it and then control g to group it and then call it logo all right all right all right all right all right all right so i think and we are almost done we are almost done we are almost done so control alt shift and e match everything in one layer convert to smart objects go to filter camera raw filter and let's do the need for yeah let's do the need for the final booster we push here like this and i think it's okay push here like this uh boost okay this is awesome let me see contrast contrast i don't need contrast too much and i think it's okay but i'll come and work on it later this should go black to come down i think uh black mm, what do you feel what do you feel what do you feel if the black should go this way what do you feel we come this way too okay maybe we'll come back to it later and then go to this side yeah this is awesome clarity let's test you clarity this is okay then let's see vibrance vibrance this is awesome and guys i think i love this already so just check it before and after guys this is awesome this is great this is great this is great this is great yeah this is very very great yeah this is very very great and that is it i prefer everything is okay so i'll click on okay and then it will be applied to it and let's see this is before and after you realize now a lot of them has changed so guys this is how i was able to achieve this awesome simple but very very nice church flyer in logo uh, sorry in photoshop so please subscribe to this channel like and share and let's grow the channel together i love you and i'll see you in the next tutorial for the meantime bye for now